Well, hi, I'm Wesley Newhouse. I'm with the law firm of Newhouse, Proctor, Letcher & Boots. Uh, I've been asked today to talk a little bit about how I see the direction of the practice of law in the future, um, and that could take all day. Um, but we don't have time for that. Uh, I do see a couple of trends, however. Um, one is a trend towards greater nationalization of the practice. And by that I mean there's going to be growing pressure uh, to lower the uh, boundaries or the impediments to lawyers practicing law nationwide. Um, we're going to see uh, more and more lawyers in Columbus, Ohio representing uh, a California employer, for example, in respect to an immigration issue for workers that that employer wants to bring from uh, other countries. Um, technology makes it much easier for that to happen. Um, and if a lawyer is practicing in an area that is uh, predominantly federal law, uh, there really isn't much need to restrict a person from doing that. Um, I think that also is going to create some pressure for uh, mid-sized law firms, uh, the law firm with 100 lawyers that practices statewide, uh, to become part of a much larger regional or national law firm. Uh, we're going to see more consolidation in our industry, just as uh, the accounting industry went through that maybe 20 years ago. Um, so we will see larger and larger law firms. Um, they're going to be well suited to take care of large corporate clients. They'll have the resources to serve those clients and their needs very effectively. The counter trend is going to be this, and that is um, for individuals, unless they're very wealthy, um, and for small businesses. Uh, increasingly, they're going to be looking uh, to places other than large regional or national or international law firms. Uh, for legal services. Um, so uh, solo practitioners, small law firms that focus on that niche in the market uh, are probably going to grow. We're going to see more and more of that. And because the same technology that's available to large law firms are available to a solo practitioner, uh, they're going to be able to bring a level of service and sophistication uh, that uh, might be able to compete uh, with the types of uh, service that's available from a larger firm. So I think lawyers in the future are either going to have to prepare themselves to go big or to go small. Um, and um, that probably um, is a good way to uh, identify the personalities of the lawyers. Some people are very comfortable working in a large environment with a lot of resources, um, uh, working at uh, uh, a place where there are uh, corporate clients uh, that are very high powered um, and have a lot of very sophisticated needs. Um, and there are other lawyers that are more comfortable in a smaller uh, uh, type of environment and focusing on small business and individual representation. Um, and I don't think that that aspect of the practice of law will change much despite the technology and the consolidation uh, and some of the other uh, uh, business organization changes that we're seeing in the practice. Um, so I think the, the future is bright for lawyers. I think. Uh, our practice is, uh, has embraced uh, the technology changes, uh, the changes in the needs and the demands of our clients. Um, it sometimes takes time to change the laws and the rules for practicing. It takes effort. Um, I think our profession has shown remarkable uh, flexibility in uh, trying to adapt to the times. Um, so I, I am very optimistic uh, that lawyers of the future are going to have a, a, a good viable profession that will provide a good livelihood and will allow 
allow them to fulfill their uh, sense of service um, and their sense of mission in assisting others and assisting their communities. Thank you very much.